I think something that I am good at, which is knowing what I don't know. And when I started Soul City, I was a doctor, and I knew I didn't know a damn thing about making television. But I knew that there were people who did know how to make television. And it was those people that I sought out. And I also know when somebody's good or not good. You know, if you've made an award-winning TV series, you're probably good. If you, etc. So I think one of the key things in, in our personal journeys is to find people who, don't, who have skills that you don't have. Mm -hmm. And not always do you have to bring them into your team. And I've been amazed at how many people will willingly give you their time, their advice, etc. Mm -hmm. Or nothing. So know what you don't know. That's even before you start recruiting people. So quite a lot of people, or well, there are a few people here who are out on their own or about to start things, don't have a team. You know, put people around yourself that can compliment you and, and know what you don't know. Now this I have learned at my therapy <laughs> is, is that I have got recruitment so wrong on so many occasions. And you can recruit in haste and repent at leisure. <laughs> Getting the right people is the answer to everything. It's the answer to succession. It's the answer to your board. It's the answer to delivering on the end product. Find the right people. So the question is, how do we do that? And this is where I have just suddenly had a light bulb moment. And that is that you recruit for attitude and you train for skills. Okay? Is that so many of us, and, and I'm talking about me, because I you know, look at the CV and we see all that stuff and whatever, and I have had some horrific experiences. <laughs> Highly skilled people who have been exceptionally good and massively distracted. So let's assume that we've now got the right people in place. Okay? Um, again, I wish I practiced this, but I think many of us are so caught up with fundraising and partnerships and the vision and the clients and, and who we're trying to reach. And I think that one should be spending at least 60% of your time focusing inwards and only outwards about 40% of the time, no matter what you're doing. If you're working with a team of people, empowering that team, step one is actually get to know people's story. And, and, and so, you know, get to know the people that you work with. They may be not employees, they may be. And we've talked about it before, but empowering your staff, people who keep their vision too close, don't let people who are control freaks, don't let people take responsibility. If people have got the right attitude, they will make it happen. And then share and celebrate success. You know, um, it's pretty tough out there. When good things do happen, make a big deal out of it. The other thing is be fair and consistent. <coughs> I'm not always fair or consistent. But people very quickly pick up on the fact that you dealt with that situation like this, and that situation which was similar, you dealt with it in a completely different way. And that stuff begins to create dynamics in organizations. This was something that a number of people clearly knew, is this concept about, I'm just at the end of my tether. So I think there's two things about, number one, how do we avoid it? Um, and this is not all the things, but ultimately, again, it becomes recruiting right. Because if you've got positive people around you, you like going to work, and even when it's hard, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to deal with that. Find mentors and wise counsel. You know, if you've got some people that you can talk about what it is that you're going through, um, I think that is just such a key thing, and I've been really fortunate in that regard. <coughs> Again, empower and mentor your staff. You know, if you're the only person taking the load and the failures and the trauma, even though I take responsibility for raising money in the organization, essentially, there are people around me that are sort of holding up my hands. And if you are budget, <coughs> lean on others. Take time out. And I think a lot of people do that. They take time out. But I think the one critical thing to do when you take time out is to get wise counsel and to think what you're going to do differently. Because if you go straight back into the same situation that burnt you out, and you're not going to do things differently, that week off or whatever is not going to help. That, guys, was the end of session two. It might seem